Um, okay. Hey, yo. It's me, yo. Um, this is like my fifth time starting this because, um, what's the word? I keep messing up. Let me, um, But yeah, let's get this video and then just, no, not like that. No. <laughs> yeah, um, this is day 13, but it's the 14th. Oh no. And the reason it's the 14th. And, yeah, because that's close enough, but that's just such a weird smear frame. It's going to look really weird, but you know what? We're going to live and learn here. And poor thing. I'll just extend its body out. No reason to be mean. And of course, there. Yeah, so, hey, it's the 14th, but I'm saying it's the 13th because I just, um, so, I have a problem with Poke Farm Q. And that problem is I <clears throat> go way too hard. Like, when I should have been doing literally anything else, I was upgrading my Wish Forge badges. <laughs> I evolved 200 Pokemon so that I could upgrade two badges. <laughs> and like, if you know that game, you know that's like nothing. But when you, but saying, yeah, I upgrade. I evolved two hundred Pokemon. That sounds intense. I never explained what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I'm rotoscoping a gecko. Because, you know what, mammals are difficult, and I was watching the TV and the Geico gecko showed up, and I was like, you know what, yeah, and this gif came from Giphy. There's two possibilities. This is adorable, and it was definitely worth the time, or I am just messing up in a big way. But you know what I can do? I think I can color it, and then it'll be better. That sounds like an option, right? That sounds like a pretty good option.
So you might notice that instead of my usual way of doing things, I'm doing things differently. And that's just because I am so tired. I don't like depression. Like, when I was different, depression was pretty cool. Because when you're manic, your brain is different in a very unfun way that I wouldn't wish on anyone, you know? It's no good times. Not happy times at all. So then you get depressed. And it's like, instead of always being at a hundred, you're always at ten. And being at a hundred for too long is painful. So it's like, if a stopping of just, but then you get medicated and you never get to 100. And it's like, okay, now I'm just stuck at 10. Can't complain too much. Because it's better than being stuck at 100. But it'd be nice if I could be a normal human and just hang out at 50. I don't know where those random trimmery things are coming from. You know, they talked about flip, um, the team behind Flip a Clip making a new drawing engine. But you know what would be probably easier and nice? Like, compared to a full drawing engine overhaul? Layer settings. Like, you know, multiply. Overlay. How hard would that be to implement? It might be really hard. I don't know computers. Keep. I wonder if we got to a point where people don't think people who spend like. Every waking moment on computers, computer people, you know, Ooh. say you This is good. Oh, cool. I'm almost done. No, that was so close. I could have just erased what I messed up on. But instead, I was like, okay, whole new line. Ah. I'm really curious what this is going to look like. Wait. Ow. 
How many times have I forgotten the eye? Just that one time, I guess. There. Oops. And then just And then Who needs pen stabilization when you have depression? There. Now we can... Oh yeah, that one. Wow. That is genuinely bad. All right, this is a job for admitting I did a bad job. Yeah, I'll just... Okay, now... Oh, what in the literal heck? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to turn on onions. We're going to turn on onions. And we're going to do the settings, frames after, the color. And we're just going to fix this up. So that's just not so ridiculous. Okay. 
still... Yeah, that one looks good enough. Deep. There actually wasn't much of a reason to redo that one. But I will redo that one anyway. Okay, now its body will be less all over the place. Okay. No, wait. No, I don't want a new one. That's not what I wanted. Okay, instead, we're going to make a new one. Put it down here. And we're going to make this. Oof. We're going to make this green, but not too green. Green. Oh, cool. Yep, we're gonna make this a leaf, and you know, he's got a little leaf going on there, and no, not that. And then for that one, wait, okay. Yeah, it's a little darker underneath the little. Yeah, so let's make this darker. Just to show that little gecko is hanging out there. Maybe just a little bit there to show the shadow and like a big bit there. No. There. No, why are you a jerk? You're not supposed to. Really? What? Okay, where am I missing? I guess I have to do like. That makes no sense to me. Oh well, even if I have to long way around. like that. I'm going to copy and paste this so that and then the rest of it is like a brownish and brown is just orange with context. <laughs> Or I could have just been like, there you go. 
more orange, more context. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. And now I just need to do... <sighs> okay. And since I have that now, all I have to do is... Copy, paste, okay, copy, paste, am I in the right layer? Yeah. Yay! Now let's see how it looks. I don't know why that makes it so much better. <laughs> okay. Now you go away. And we... Um... Turn on and off, yeah. And now... We just gotta... Yep. Okay. I learned a trick for this. I did learn a trick. What you do is you go onto your active layer with your lines and you choose it. You copy Copy, no, copy, and then you go to an empty layer, and you paste it down. I'm so sorry. This is just so weirdly difficult for me. Just, it shouldn't be, but I'm depressed. That's my excuse every now. And I was in the wrong layer. But it don't matter anyway, because it would be my So we're going to move this down here. And I guess we're going to start with a cream color. Just a cream, nice creamy cream color. I could. But I want it to be a little more cute and approachable. Yeah, that's cute and approachable. And then we just have to Can I use the paint bucket? Well, that wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> uh, my voice probably got suddenly more voice. Man, that's annoying. I'm like, okay, no. Make the white, I'm pressing it. Almost all software I've used, when you fill in something with the photo, with the paint bucket, and you press it again, it fills it more. But not here. 
Okay, I'm going to do the underbelly for all of them first. And I might This is fun. Yeah, I'm doing more than just simple rotoscoping. I'm also coloring. Isn't coloring fun? I do need to. And then Yay. Wow, this is taking forever. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is taking forever. Now just that. And... I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, as you can see, I am in fact going to speed it up because <laughs> this is slow work because of the fact that Flip a Clip doesn't have, isn't smart. It's not a smart program. Like, in most other programs, you can just be like, okay, I want to fill in this layer, or I want to fill in all layers. Well, not like, I want to be contextually aware of... <laughs> oh, I forgot, there's only eight things, but I'm still speeding it up. Yeah, what I was saying was like, most programs, you can say, I want to set the boundaries of what is filled in based on all layers or just a single layer. But with this, it's just, you fill, your boundaries are defined by one layer, one layer only. That one layer is the only layer chance you get, <laughs> you know. The undermouth is actually a gradient from green to cream, but at the same time, I'm just kind of like, 
Nah. That's close enough, right? Yeah, so I'm... I'm all, I got 30 minutes in, and I'm thinking I can get this done before the cutoff of one hour that screen recordings can be. Because what do I have left? Maybe adding shadows. Well, adding the base color, obviously. But other than adding the base green color and the eyes shadows which would be easier if there was a multiply layer option <laughs> technically I could use the opacity slider to make it like a shadow a multiply layer but that's like not exactly the same as what I'd want but I might try it <laughs> It just depends on where I am in approximately 20 minutes. Oh yeah, and if I really wanted to, I could feather the edges. Because I think the paint book, the paint brush tool is meant to do that. <laughs> Why is this so cute? Why is this so cute? That's unreasonably cute. Yeah. <sighs> I was so, so, so close to thinking it was home run, and then I looked and was like, oh. I mean, what does it look like so far? I'm actually shocked. I'm shocked. That's weird. That went way better than I thought it would. I thought it was going to be like... Like it did with the line art. It's like, no, cool. Ah, gotta rearrange myself. Ooh, <laughs> I'm, I'm dizzy. Oh, 
I am quietly dreading um, <laughs> the next part, which is just figuring out how I want to add the base color. But I think, I think I figured it out. Yeah. So I'm just going to quickly finish this up. And once I finish that up, I'm going to go back through and just do the markings, I guess. I st I mean, yeah. There's two more of these. Actually, I just realized something. I not technically limited to an hour If I'm willing to take a break to let, yeah, that sounds like fun. Okay. Let me explain what I was saying. So I was thinking I want to get this done in one video, like one video per day, ideally. But I was like, I don't know. If I can get all this done in one video, then I was like, wait, I have to edit these videos to get the right aspect ratio for YouTube. Like, it's not a choice. So, if I have to edit them anyway, what's the harm of splicing together two videos? to make one video for one day. And I'm like, yay, I figured it out. And it just depends on how it looks. There. Yay. No. Ow. Oof. Oof. Ah. My broken. It's funny. I had my ankle twist my foot with a broken foot. I had it twisted a funny way. But that noise when I was just moving it wasn't because it hurt because it was broken. It was just in a really awkward position. And it's like, I guess kind of fell asleep or something. I don't know. Okay, I think we can change this to brush. And I want it to be brown. And just...
didn't do any right here. Yay! Now let's turn off the video, turn on the background, and see how it looks. Not that great, to be honest. Not that great. And where did I forget to fill in? Where did I forget to fill in there? Okay. Okay. I guess now we'll go back with the brush and choose like white. And we'll just put this little highlight in its eye. Because that's cute, right? What layer am I on? Good. Right layer. Correct layer. There! And now, um, we just need to make him green. And I don't need the video for that. But I do think I need that. Uh, yeah. Okay. We want him to be vibrant. Like, stand out. So we're going to take this and we're going to make it like that, I guess. And then all we have to do is... All we have to do, I don't want to do this, but I think I have to just for time, if it doesn't work out the first time, copy, dang it, you have to go here, then you have to go like this, copy, pull down to the correct layer, Paste, 
just because this specific one got messed up first. Now, dang it, didn't even kind of work. That's life. So let's go back here. And just fill in the lines because it'd be great. If things just work the first time. And now, now, I can do that, and it gives me those ugly dots, but better than wow, this is bad. This is bad. Okay. Hmm. Can I just... Uh, I don't like that. Okay, if I can, okay, that was much better, much better, and then I just have to, <sighs> oh, it's so sad, it looks so sad. What if I just increased it? No. No, that's too much. Yeah, that works. Kind of, not perfect, but faster. We'll put the next layer over this one, and that layer will just have eyes and the inside of the mouse. Now this isn't turning out correctly. Um. Okay. 
Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's a little off, right? Yeah. Yes, I can make it a little off. It's okay. Ah, oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll do some, but I won't. Okay. I love you all. Unless I make this into a two-parter with the parts that... But, but I might give up. Bye. Ah, I don't. I don't know how much of that first part got recorded, but yeah, I did a few touching up things, and after I did that, I was like, okay, this is as good as it's gonna get. So here is as good as it's gonna get with the primitive tools of flip a clip. It's adorable. I could add shadows to make it better, but at this point, that's just kind of like a little extra, just a little. But it's pretty cute, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> well, I will see y'all next time. Bye. Love you. Toodles.